Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our Let's Play of the Medal of Honor. I'm the Ninja Stalker, and we're probably coming up on the last bit of uh, a game here. Escape from the V2 rocket. This war is going to end soon, and unfortunately so may the Grand Alliance that won it. Hike's going to let the Soviets into Berlin first, and once that happens, everything will change. The spoils of this war are not going to be land or riches but scientific research. The Germans have a huge head start in jet propulsion and rocketry, technology that's going to change the world we live in. This mission that you begin today is why you were brought into the OSS. It's been in the planning stages since before D-Day, since before I even knew your name. Lieutenant, you're being sent back into Germany one last time on a mission that just may determine the fate of the free world. 150 miles southwest of Berlin lies the Hartz Mountain Range. Buried deep inside it is the Nordhausen Mittelwerk plant, where the Nazis have been building their rockets ever since the Peenemunde raid in 43. The facility is run by the SS, and the toughest of the Waffen divisions are stationed there. The Germans consider the V2 program their last hope, and they'll protect it at all costs. We need to learn everything the Germans know, and bluntly, we can't let the Soviets find out. Your mission is to turn their own terror weapon against them, capture their research, analyze it the best you can, then use it to destroy the facility. I've been told that luck is when opportunity meets preparedness. If that's the case, Lieutenant, I wish you all the luck in the world. Nice. I hope to see you back in London soon. I believe with the V-2 rockets, uh... Did it, was it the Russians that ended up getting that kind of technology? I mean, we used a, we used a bit of it, but we don't call it V, v rockets anymore. Uh, I think they for the Russians still maybe, because I, I know another video game they they call it that, but um, video games are video games. Now, from my understanding, with the V two rockets uh, world, during World War Two, the locations that they went and shot that stuff from uh, was near was at uh, was it how would you how would you put it? anywhere near close to uh, Britain, right? So they would launch these rockets and see how far they can go, and then sometimes they'll land in uh, uh, in the UK somewhere, you know, and they didn't care because, I mean, they were against the UK, and the UK's like, oh, isn't this some bullshit? <laughs> and uh, they went ahead and solved it the best way they could to stop that shit. You know, they had these, uh, these water uh, bases out there, you know, uh, to... to signal ahead like hey there's a rocket coming somebody shoot it down or some shit and then they'll send they'll send fighters up in the air to shoot it down and they'll sh they'll, they'll be successful and then the the Germans are like all right so we have to do something else this time anyways buzz bomb assembly 25th march 1945 so patterson we've reached the end of our journey colonel hargrove briefed me on this mission over a year ago at the time i told him that i didn't think he'd ever find a field operative who can pull it off well i'm happy to say that i've been proved wrong it's been hard to get a reliable intelligence out of the Nordhausen. The Waffen SS has been extremely careful about screening any civilian workers for possible infiltrators. Luckily, one of the scientists, Dr. Gronick, Gronick from the University of Warsaw, has been feeding us scraps of information for the past couple of months. His French is rather poor, but if I understand his last communique correctly, the best way into the, fa into the factory is through the V-1 buzz bomb assembly area. Okay, so then there's the v V1 rockets and then the V2 rockets. See if you can acquire the Germans V1 target list. Based on range and trajectory, we can backtrack from an intended target location to find a launch site. The V1 is a nasty weapon, but it's easy to knock them out of commission, at least when they're on the ground. I speak from experience. I did a few raids on the France-based sites. Use a demolition charge to destroy the launch controls, then open the blast doors to exit through the V2 access tunnel. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we gotta deal with the V1 first, and then we can move on to the V2. Shotgun, BAR, perfect. Motherfucker, please. Pineapple grenade. Oh shit. Want some of this? Did you blow 
blow yourself up. You did blow yourself up. this.
Scientists are no jokes, too, you know? We're getting more accurate. Save state there. Save. Okay. 
Alright, that'll be it for this uh, video. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys managed to watch, because uh, again, it still surprises me whenever I get views. But, anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you guys take care and have yourselves a good night. Alright?